So right now, Philip is using the front of the house as like a backdrop for his shirts. He's trying to sell some shirts online. Uh, he's probably gonna sell them on like grilled, but I'm pretty sure if you DM him on Instagram, he'll, he'll just send you the link to his page to where you can buy it. But uh, I'm waiting on him. So I'm just going to show y'all the radio because I know some of y'all probably have some questions. And I didn't know the last video was gonna be 20 minutes long. I'm gonna try and shorten that. Keep it under 15 because I think once it's, if it's under 15, then it'll show up in 1080p. If it's over 15, then it'll show up in the 360p. And the video, like the look of it, I, I really didn't like it. I was like this close to like deleting it. So I was like, who cares? So right now I'll just show y'all the radio. Close the door. All right, so it looks really good, um, but there is a slight gap right there. It's really not that noticeable unless you know about it and you like and you look really closely but it does look really nice as it is another thing is an issue I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it on turn the car on so it's on right now it's on the front defrost but if I turn it off you see how it turns that um like a whitish background and apparently I guess I have to just keep it on all the time but I don't I don't keep it on whenever I'm like driving aggressively or about to race and what I do is I just hit the settings and just let it sit there but um, that's a that's not really a big issue but it's kind of like why would it why is it bright like that I mean I kind of understand that it's trying to point out like you can go here, here, and here, but I feel like that's not really that necessary. So I just leave it at settings. And the radio, like I said, uh, fitment, it's not the best, but hey, it uh, at least it works. And I can get a custom bracket for like 13 bucks and see if that'll uh, help uh, adjust it to where it'll be more flush with the bezel. So just take it out, it's um, 90 bucks. I paid 100, uh, 170 for this because I got this open box new on eBay. So these retail for like 400, and the radio was 90 dollars. So, um, and one thing I don't like about this radio is if I put it in reverse. It's in reverse right now. You see how this screen went dark, and you notice how the radio there's no reverse camera. What I have to do? Press reverse camera. And it doesn't even work if it's an Apple CarPlay either. So that's kind of a, so I would have to switch the, press the home button, that's annoying. I would have to switch the input from here to here, which isn't a really issue. So I'll do that another time. And Apple CarPlay works really good. Plug it in. All right, so Apple CarPlay works. Uh, real responsive, um, has ways you can download other apps and it'll show up on your screen. Um, I'm not gonna show the maps because I don't want to show my location. So I'll just go to the music and so yeah, um, music works really good. Like I said, guys, uh, $90 and 171 dollars. Even though this has a gap right here, I still don't mind. So I just take it as it is and I'll fix it later. So I I would say this is a W, eight out of ten for both of them. And yeah, so so like I said, I can't really complain. Um, I do like both of them. And if you want to, I'll drop the links to both of them. But you can find them on eBay and other websites. So if you want it, just let me know. He's over there trying to use that to like angle it at a certain way so he can you know get that good angle for his t-shirts but he's got some vintage shirts over here it's a couple just show a couple you can't leave out fingers bro hold on, <laughs> hold on. got an old liquid blue here 2001 yeah it's pretty clean uh vintage wolf shirt i mean from, I don't know what year it is, but it's from Art Unlimited Sportswear. Sportswear. It's at 40. I, mean, I gotta put it up there, man. Yeah. Shit, I got 
Mad Engine, Captain America T, uh, 2011, new with tags, and the Universal T. I like this myself, but I mean, I already got something similar. So, the Disney Store, so just a few things here and there, just some good finds. Yeah, and uh, Philip here, I'll put his uh, Instagram in the description, but he'll tell you where else he can get it from. Yeah, you can go on Depop, Philip Flow, and the name. Philip is with two L's, no, not one. A lot of people get that confused. <laughs> all right, so I'll put all that in the in the description. So we're just gonna wrap it up here, and then we're gonna go get our cars washed. So this is my boy Philip's car. It's a Honda Civic. I'm not too sure on the year, but if if I got any Civic boys in my comments, let you let yourself be known. I like all cars, so I don't really have a favoritism towards that thing over there. But uh, yeah, I just like all cars and I do like how it looks. I just feel like it just needs a little low and some wheels, call it a day. But Phil's not really a car guy, so it's just his daily. You can't be mad at it, Honda Civic. Really good daily, good on gas, all that other stuff, so. I do like the color also, if I didn't say that earlier. here touchless wash just a quick little wash through nothing major so let's sit through it and enjoy the show please drive forward please place car in the park yes sir a pre-soap cleaning product is now being applied to your vehicle So me and Philip are about to go into Mon Cafe and eat. So we're just gonna wrap up the video. Hope y'all enjoy. Like, share, subscribe. V6 still exists. The next day.